Welcome back. My name is Mark Anthony DuBose Jr. and I was born July 4th, 1986. I want to say thank you for tuning in. Today, I want to talk about something that I believe is one of the most challenging things that we as humans deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. It's so challenging that we don't want it to be a way, but it just happens to be a way. It just is what it is. Something that I learned as a really young boy. My daddy taught me a very valuable lesson. because Back when I used to be competing when I was running, he'd always say, Anthony, there's somebody that's faster than you. So you got to keep on working. And no matter how hard you even work, someone's still probably going to be faster than you. So just keep on working. Keep on going. And don't be mad at the fact that someone else is faster than you because someone's going to be. You just have to keep on going, keep on working, keep on doing what you're doing. So don't worry about what's going on over there. Just worry about your own self and what you need to get better at. Something, now this is like six, seven years old. That I'll never forget this. He probably remember he even said it to me. <laughs> Which is something that it's always stuck with me your whole life, knowing that someone over there is going to be able to shine better than you are. So who cares? Stop worrying about what they're doing. Just do what you got to do. Because I believe the one thing that really challenges people so much because I saw this especially firsthand again when I got into the military. Somebody younger, somebody less educated, somebody with less experience came in and took your job and is doing way better than you and is outperforming you in ways that you just don't understand. You're like, I've been doing this for so long. How do they not know nothing, but yet they're in here able to do stuff? They have all the answers. They got all the ways. And how are they capable of doing that? Because the thing that I've just really come to realize being the Bible believer that I am, that each of us has a certain gift that we're able to be able to do. Certain skills and certain things that we're able to do that are just like, it's easy. I don't work. I don't do it. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to get experience with it. I just know it right away when I just start doing it. And, and that gift comes from us just being able to, it's, it's a gift for us to be, we're alive. We're here. We're doing what we're doing. To me, that's just the way that I have always known it and see to be and really definitely 100% confirm that today. Each of us has something that we just shine at and it is not work. We just do it. Like to me, working with my dogs, this is not work. I just do it. I'm just living. It's not anything extra I have to think about doing. It's not anything I got to like theater, figure out and get set and do. I did when I was going down the set dog training route of doing things. But when I just learned how to live with these animals and be with these animals, this isn't work for me. I don't have to like set up a stage up, do this, and get this, and figure out this, and remember this, and remember to do this, and remember not to pet for this, remember to do that. No, I'm just living. I'm just alive. And I get results that people that are working so hard to be able to try to be able to get. But I'm just living. I'm not doing any, anything extra. It's, it's, it's just, I don't know how to explain it, but this is easy. I can take your dog and just play with the dog and work with the dog and interact with the dog and have the dog in my life and hang out with the dog, and the dog just turns into something absolutely incredible. I'm not putting nothing behind my, me in this. I'm just doing this. This is where I would say is, anyone that's ever seen me with any animal, any species of any animal, they're always like, wow, dude, you, you got something with these animals. I have what I'm going to say is my gift of understanding just animals. Forget just the dog. The dog is a small portion of the, all the animals that I want to be able to start to be able to work with. That's why I have so many different ones around and why I have good success of being able to manage and work with every single one that it's just, it's easy. I have like hours a day that I do that's, that's not hours to me. It's just, it's fun. It's, it's interesting. I just sit and stare at chicken. I sit and stare at my cows. I sit and stare at all the animals and just hang out with them. It's, it's easy. It's, it's something that I have that has just been given to me to just be able to easily be able to use on these lands. And hey, it's, it's a way of, hey, me, you, you'd be able to make a living off of doing this as well, I realize. It's not something that is just so easy to me that it's so easy to everybody else. So I'm able to put myself in a position to be able to monetize what it is that I'm doing. And just even just monetize in a way to be able to speak about it to a camera so people could be able to uh, hear what it is that I have to say. And it's, it's fascinating because there's some people that you want something so bad, but it's not your gift. And the main reason that we get the whole jealous and envious because you're pushing so hard into something that is just not your gift. You're not gifted at it. I saw it right away in the military when people were just that you wanted the rank, but you're not you're not the rank. You're, you're not you're not stable. You're not competent enough. You're not you're 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 just not there. You're not with it. You're not the leader. You want to be a leader, but you're not. Some people are leaders. Some people are just they they this is the part with I had a good good little back and forth on a comment of talking about the genetics that some are up there and some are down here. It just is what it is. And, and that's just the way that the world is. You have to have people that need to be followers that are just not leaders to, to be able to have the leaders. 
And leaders need to have someone that needs to be a follower to be able to have the leaders. It's just the world that we live in. Some people are leaders and they have the leadership capabilities behind them. That is just, it is powerful to be around that they know how to just simplify everything. So everyone is just like, okay, that's what we do. This is where we go. Let's just relax. We got it. Everything's figured out here. And some people are good at that. And some people want it. You want it so bad. And that's why they didn't gain the rank. And then they started, nah, 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 why am I not getting rank? And this little kid over here is gaining the rank. How this 22 year old guy is an E6 and I'm 48 years old and I'm barely an E5. I can't even gain rank. But this guy is just moving because that guy or that girl is a leader. And that's what the military is always looking for is leaders to go up the ranks. They don't want to just push up people just because they want leadership. That's what the rank represents is a leadership position. And to me, when I really think about animals in reality, I also think about leadership. Dogs are looking for a leader, not a dictator, not an enforcer, but a leader to show them the right ways, to be able to relax and calm down all the chaos, to be able to bring the peace. They are looking for a solid leader. They are looking for someone that is going to be able to lead them in the right direction of knowing that everything is okay. That the leader is taking care of it all. Y'all don't need to worry about nothing. All the stress is gone. All the stress is away. And that's why it's, it's a fantastic thing for me to be able to just continue to keep on working with dogs. I didn't choose who I am. I'm here. God chose me to be who I am and what I am. God chose my name. He chose my birthday. He chose that my parents. He chose everything about me. I didn't get to choose that. I'm just here. But yet I'm going to get a lot of hate, a lot of envy, a lot of jealousy, a lot of rage, a lot of everything because of just who I am, a being, a human being on this planet that God has put here. And, and for me, I'm not, I, that's why the main thing is I can't look over there and worry about what anyone is doing, but just keep doing what it is I'm doing. Because I take and I do and I handle stuff that people are just like, oh, because most cases, I'm the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, on one case, eighth trainer that came in to try to help someone with their dog. And most people had a lost cause after the second one. They're like, this ain't going nowhere. No one's going to be able to do anything. But imagine being on the sixth or the seventh or the eighth one. And the, that person comes in and says, I got you. You know, I don't want no money from you. They're like, oh, this guy don't want no money. Well, let's give him a shot. Let's try it out. And, and you come in and they have like zero hope in reality. They got zero. And then I come in, I do something, I show you something. You're just like, what, 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 what what's going on? What, how did you do that? What, what's, what's happening here? What's going on? And for me, my biggest thing is I want to bring hope back. I could bring hope back that everything is fine. Everything is going to be okay. That you can get into a better place. The people just, most cases, unfortunately, want to be something, but they're not something. And the more that we want to be something, then we need more of what I'm going to say is just straight up the way I understand these worlds today. The more science you need in reality to actually be able to get something. But there's some people on this planet that science may agree with what they do, but they just know it because it's the gift that they have. It's just who they are. It's just what they represent. And for me, it's working with animals. I've seen other people that I'm pretty decent with numbers, but they work numbers. They know how to do the number. They got the number. I don't know how they could just throw out what is 20% of 4,000. And they're just like, got it. I'm like, okay, well, that might have been an easy number. How about 3,432? What's 35% of that? And they just like know it. To me, I need to calculate. I need to, I need to double check, double <laughs> verify my, my fact checks. I need to uh, check my work. I, I got to do so much to like, do I have And Some people, you just got it. You got that gift. You, ha you have something in you that's just easy. Some people, it's, I mean, it's music, it's movies, it's, it's all kinds of things. You could put some uh, lyrics together, you could put a beat together, you could make something, you could grab a guitar and just string something together and like instant, you're just like, bam, I got a song right here, right here. And do eight of those today. So you're just gifted in that. You have that. That's me just understanding what, what God has given to you to be able to have. And for us to be able to use that in a way to be able to live on these lands. And it's, it's for us to figure out what that is. But unfortunately, most cases, whatever is your said gift, someone along the line has basically shut you down from that so that you, you don't want to excel and push into that. So, you know, like, I need to force myself into this instead. This is the hardest thing to be to get into something and watch someone else do something that is just like it don't make sense. But yet I've been working at this for so long. And, and the biggest thing is most, most cases, unfortunately, we're putting ourselves in something that we need not to be going further into. If you're still struggling today, you're still struggling in the work that you do. That's not the work that you're supposed to be doing. Your work should be, it's fun to the point that it's not like, it's not God awful or it's just dreadful. It's just, it's a drag, all, everything that you do, your whole life, like you're, you're leaning to alcohol, you're leaning to drugs, you're leaning to all kinds of stuff to just be able to get by. That's not the work for you. I'm going to promise you, that's not the work that you're supposed to do. 
You should be focusing more of getting into the work that is this easy. It's just, I, I, don't, I don't put, there's zero effort in what it is that I do. The days that I say that are just a drag are, man, I'm, I'm a little tired today because of the extra I did yesterday with the extra that I wanted to do with the extra I'm having fun with what it is that I'm doing. And I'm just a little, I'm just, I'm a little, a little tired right now. And or worrying about the extra parts of the business in reality. It's not just doing your thing nowadays. You got to like have a marketing team. You got to have a, uh, uh, you got to have all kinds of stuff going on out here just to make something simple that said your gift is capable of being able to put out to people. But the biggest thing is, the way that I look at the world again is, I'm always looking for that other person that they are in their gift to be able to gift me, to be able to get me what it is that I'm looking for. So I'm looking for everyone that's doing what they're doing because they enjoy it. And most cases, not all, but most cases when people are doing what they really just enjoy, they're not in it for the money, they're in it to help somebody. They're in it to watch somebody get into a better place. That's the thing with the quality leaders. They're not in it for fame. They're in it to make sure that their, their group, their squad, their, their everything, their, their team is going to be good. The best of the best. Not them be the best, but the team be the best. It's about making sure that everybody is good to go here. Everyone's getting paid. Everyone's got all the right benefits. Everyone's good. That's what a true leader is all about. Not about just making them's own selves look and be away. And that's hard for some people. It's really, really hard because you watch somebody come in with no experience, with no education, with no nothing, and outshine, outperform you like you're nothingness. And that is hard. It's devastating for us as humans to be able to deal with. But it's easy when you understand that you also have that same gift, gift in you, that if you would just get into that, you would be that to someone else that would look at you that same way. And not trying to look at it in a way of, ha ha, look at me, I'm better than you, but looking at it in a way of, I finally found what I'm supposed to be doing. I finally found what just works for me. I finally found, I finally figured it out. And it's not a matter of, this is the thing that I think a lot of people get jammed up on. Uh, that whole word, my purpose. What's my purpose? I don't know my purpose, so I don't know what to do. The main thing behind that is you got to get up and do. You got to do. You got to get up and make stuff happen. You're going to get an idea, and you got to do that idea. And realize, now, I don't, I don't really care for that. Okay, then the next idea is going to come. Then the next idea, the next idea. Yeah, I don't know how many things that I've done before I got to this point here right now. I've done a lot. I've done a lot of schools. <laughs> I've done a lot. I've done a lot of certification courses. I've done, a, I've done so many different things. Like, I don't even know how many at this point. I've spent two straight years in school to go to an auto body school to learn how to uh, paint and repair and fix cars. You get in a car crash, I still, I still got the information. I still know how to do today. But I know how to, because that's how I know how to fix all my dents and all my things. I got a dent that I got to get. I got to buy something to fix it, though. But uh, I know how to do all that stuff because I went to school for two straight years, eight hours a day of school to learn how to do that because I was like, I want to I wanna run an auto body shop. And then something hit me one day when I literally got done, actually literally looking for a job that said, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I went a, a whole year and a half of school going dedicated. I'm like, I want to be a nurse. I'm going to get into the medical field. All my family in the medical field, I was like, this is what I want to do. I'm going to do this. I spent a whole year and a half taking my classes, all getting in it. And then I hit one class that just like, Mark, that's not, this ain't what you want to do. This is not you, man. I don't want to do this. I, and I got out of that just like that. I spent four, five, six years painting houses, just painting uh, uh, inside of houses. Within that years, I, got, I went two dedicated straight years of uh, all I do is cabinets. You call me, all I do is cabinets because I was like, that's all I'm, this is what I like. This is what I good. And then I got into it one day. It was just like, yeah, not at all. So it's not, that's not for me. That's not me. That's not what I'm about. And then I had a, after that, I just had a, a free floating moment for a moment where I was like, I want to <laughs> I want to start a lawn care company. I'm going to start cutting grass. So I started all the research and cutting grass and get what, what do I need. And so I even made a little flyers. I'm going to start cutting grass. Like I've done all kinds of things, all kinds of stuff. I mean, even just being here on this land, I'm going to sell uh, uh, chicks for meat, Babe, uh, a grown chicks. I'm going to raise them up and sell them. And then, no, no, no. I want to sell them already packaged in the freezer, ready to eat. No, no, no. I want to sell baby chicks. No, no, no. I want to, I just keep going and going and going. No, I got, I want to do dog treats. I want to do dog food. I want to do, I just keep going and going and going. All these things. And then something just wasn't like, I don't know. This isn't here until I really found my, what I'm going to say is the flow of working with dogs of what it is that that's, that's easy to me that I'm not like having no, cause I, straight up the dog training school and all that. It was, it was work. It was, I was like, this is a drag, man. This is, this is not for me. This is not what I'm about. But then I found my, 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 I guess you could say it like that, my niche with working in with what it is that I'm doing, with trickling down with everything that I've been doing. Everything that I've been doing is trying to be able to help someone out get into a better place. 
put a smile on your face. I want to change the color in your cabinets. Put a smile on your face. I want to be able to present your car to you like, oh, I got it all fixed up. I even washed it, buffed it all out, got it nice for you. I even clean the inside just, 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 just because, because I just like doing extra, just because. Just what I would do. I, you know what? I can put some gas in it for you. You fully topped off and changed the oil because that's just what I like to be able to do for people is just help you out, just get your stuff done. And it was just trickling, trickling to figure out what it is to be able to get where, where I, it, it just flows for me, where it just flows. And that flow section for me hit when I started to just really understand what it is that I enjoy doing and what I enjoy just being able to just comfortably being able to do day after day after day after day without it being any sort of just extra crazy madness of work. And that came down to really understanding how to effectively get an animal to be able to, a dog, to be able to just chill and hang out. And now I'm just constantly making video after video after video in reality, and not only just about that, but about stuff that has been able to lead me to this position of being able to just live and not have to worry so much. Just live and be. Just, just being a human being on this planet and living and being able to enjoy the life that I'm living, to be able to really experience the life that I'm living and not just rush it on. I don't know about y'all, but you know, the order we get, this year is like, what are we in? About to be October, but I'm already looking at it as January's about here. I got a big race coming in January. It's already here. The older we get, it just, it flows. It flies. Like you wake up, you go to sleep, you wake up, and it just flows. You're like, wow, it is October coming next, guys. It's October. I've been making videos. It was cold out here in January. And some of y'all probably see my videos. It is October coming already, guys. It just moves. And I don't want to just move and just be, I want to be living in it. I want to be here, be in the presence of. And it comes down to understanding that someone out there is able to do something that is just incredible, where they, they are able to do things that don't make sense to you. And it doesn't mean that to, 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 that they're uh, 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 even straight up like this, better than you. They're just able to do something that they're in their lane of doing what they're doing. And that's why it, it's, 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 it's wild to me when I go help people work with their dogs and they just, I could just see like the, the aha moment go off. They're just like, oh, wow. Wow, like, you, you, thank, thank you for showing me that. Where for today, I'm still, I need to be hands-on. I need to see the dog. I need to see the person. I need to see, see what's going on. I, I'm not so great at seeing a video and just, just, just throwing stuff out there. I like to be able to be in the presence of and seeing stuff because I can see what you're doing in that moment and say, oh, okay, back off, relax. Because I can see the, the, you start to get tense when, you're, when I'm telling you to stand and do nothing. I'm telling you this stuff works, but this is the part where I believe that some added coaching can be able to get you to fast track some things. Cause this is how I'm able to fast track people that I, that I'm interacting with that I see face to face because I can see where I say stand and do nothing, but you're still doing something, you're doing something. And I could see it. So it just I, oh, stop doing that right there. And they're like, Oh, I didn't even realize I was doing that. And then the dog just relaxes and we're just hanging out. And I'm like, see, we just needed to do that. That's why for me, please record yourself when you're in a, my dog is reactive towards a neighbor's dog. Have your spouse, have a friend, have a, bring a camera, bring a, and this costs a little bit. No, they got cheaper ones today, but still a little bit, a couple hundred dollars to get a little flying drone to, fl to, to hover behind you and just record yourself. Because when I say do nothing, you're doing something. If you're not getting any results, you're doing something. You're doing something. And there's always something going on if, if nothing's getting better. But the biggest thing behind this is it's, it's me being able to see something that someone else, it, that doesn't matter to you. You're focused on like, I needed this, this, and this, and this, and I'm focused on, I need to do nothing. How do I, how do I get this to do? Because if my dog is reactive, I want the opposite of reactive. Nothingness, man. I don't want excited. I don't want fear. I want nothing. I want nothing. That's why it's, it's hard for me to really show my dogs too much because when they're doing nothing, the dog, they're not, it's, we're not used to seeing that. We're used to seeing dogs all, all and, and it seems like it's happy because they're all like, all going. But when my dogs are like super chill, they, at the end of the day, they, they can come off to, because we haven't seen that long as being like depressed or something because they're sad. Because I used to say that about Johnny when I finally got him to just like chill. He'd be in the house. I look at him like, dude, you okay? You happy? You sad? Like I'd just be guessing. Like I don't like something weird here. But he's just <laughs> chilling, laying out, belly up, just like loving life, and he's just in in, in living heaven on, on on this planet in reality. But I'm not used to seeing that. I'm used to seeing dogs that are just like all just crazy and wild and dude, we good? I told you, get out of my face, man. <laughs> it's a new thing he got going on. And he's like, I just got to put my face in your face. <laughs> and I'm like, I just don't like that. But uh, 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 seeing the dogs that are just just chill, is it, it's weird. It's foreign. It's not, it's not normal anymore because we're just used to seeing stuff on a rampage all the time. And, and, and it was for me to just really, really just understand that what I'm doing 
it, it, it may seem like nothing to somebody, but in reality, the unfortunate thing, but the fortunate thing is, that's what most people are looking for, what it is that I've been able to find with these, these simple dogs. Same with the cows, the same with the chickens, the same with everything, my goodness. I just know how to work with these based on just, literally, I go to sleep and I wake up and I got an idea, this is what we do. And then I do it. And then I watch videos of people that are kind of like, say, on the same similar game plan as what I've been thinking about the whole time anyways. And I'm like, okay, well, someone else is clearly doing that because it's not like I thought of anything new under the sun. I'm just doing what people are doing. And then I'm like, okay, they're doing it. They're also getting the same success. So let me just keep double down and into that. And I just keep doing it. And then I go to sleep and I wake up and I get an idea of, oh, let's try this instead tomorrow. This is how I've been able to figure out everything with all, all the animals. I literally just go to sleep pondering the idea. What do I do? What do I need to do here? Because what I'm doing is not working. It's clearly not working. I got a mess going on. What do I do? And I go to sleep and I wake up and I sit and I think for a moment. This is the part where I say is this, this, just me, you know, to each of their own with what it is that you, how you want to live on these lands. But I've got extreme success, which is believing that God is the way. Let me take that back. Let me add more to that, that Jesus is the way. And, and, and I've been able to just really just sit and pray and just ask. I'll go to sleep on the question. God, what am I doing wrong here? Because my dog is acting a fool right now. And I go to sleep and I'd wake up and I'd wake up and then I'll get either a video on my phone would show me a new training thing or something that I should pay attention to. And if I try to ignore it, it'll just keep coming. I'm just like, okay, I'll finally just watch it. And I watch it and I'm like, huh, that's wild. That's crazy. Cause that's what I was thinking of. Just same weird stuff that lately, I don't know about y'all, but I've been having weird dreams about like just weird stuff going on. And, and me having dogs as being that safety net for the weird stuff that's going on. I don't know what's going on, but some weird thing is I keep watching videos that people keep saying that same thing. That something weird is going on, but yet they're scared of the dogs. So I'm like, shucks, I need to get more dogs. <laughs> because if they're scared of the dogs, I'm definitely going to have a dog with me. And I'm definitely going to have a dog with me that's going to be neutral. That's not going to mess up anything that's going on. A dog with me that I could travel with and go anywhere with. A dog with me that's going to be able to have enough, enough energy to be able to keep up with me if I need to be able to go and be able to do something. That's why I keep high energy dogs always with me. Because it's just what I like for one. But something is in me that just says, have them. Because, I don't know, I just think they're the best. But I probably think that they're the best because there's something of a greater purpose to what it is that I'm doing here. That I don't know. I'm just living. I'm just being. But there's always going to be somebody that's, that I'm going to watch the video. Because I watch, man, there's straight up. I've, I've, seen a, I've seen a dude in my face work with some dogs that it, it just didn't make any sense to me. It didn't make no sense to me that I am nowhere near on the dude's level. Regardless of what people think of his techniques and how he does things, I saw him do some stuff that no crazy show that he's putting on in my face. And I'm just like, dude, like, what the heck? I'm, I'm nowhere near nothing like this. Just just. <laughs> I didn't have words for it when I saw the dude. And, and, and the dude is just incredible. I'm not going to bash on him and say nothing to him and, and show him and say him. He, he's just doing stuff that he's doing that he's clearly living in his what he's supposed to be doing. And I'm living in my little lane of what it is that I do. And I'm just going to keep living in my lane and keep on working and keep getting better and better and better and not worry about what's going on over there. But just understand that I need some things that I need to work on. And the biggest thing behind this is if you're not working on what, what is all the best and the greatest to you, don't expect that you are going to have something that at the end of the day is going to be the same as what someone else is doing. That's why we all need to focus on ourselves. That's why for me, it's, it's again, it's the show off part that's just, it's, it's, it's hard for me because I'm who I am doing what I'm doing with no work behind it, which is hanging out, which is being, and my dogs look the way that they look. And someone's going to say, I want my dogs to look like that. But that's, it's going to be, I'm going to say at the end of the day, kind of in reality, Chet Oreo. I mean, you're right in front of me doing it, man. <laughs> that shadow man is awesome. <laughs> but uh, uh, the, the way I have with everything with all these dogs, it's, 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 it's going to look away because I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm just living. And, and, and that's why for me, I don't want to show it off because I don't want someone to, at the end of the day, think that I'm going to get that exact same thing if I just do what he does. I don't know. I'm trying to. This is the thing that I'm always doing is watching all the videos of myself, interacting and working with my dogs and figuring out what is it that I'm doing? Because there's a lot that I do that I don't just, 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 just consciously do. I just do. And one of the biggest things that I know that I was doing, especially one of the videos that I made is don't touch the dog when the dog is doing something that you don't want it to be doing. And, and, I, and I, I just do that. I don't think about it. I just do that. I, I just automatically, when I'm feeding my dogs and I'm giving them their food, I just do things that it's just, it just comes out of me. I just do. I'm not thinking like, oh, maybe I should get him to sit. Maybe I should down. No, I just li literally, literally, this is what I do when I'm really trying to work with my dogs. I just stand there and stare at them. 
of course, sit and st I prefer to stand and stare. I don't know why I get more understanding when I stand and stare compared to when I sit and stare. But I just stand and stare at the dog. I can look down at the dog and I just go to silence and I stop even thinking about anything and I just stare at the dog. I'm trying to figure out what is my next step because this is how I've been able to really fast track my life through getting like through anger and frustration, especially with these dogs. because They do stuff that's just like, what the heck? And I would just see the dog doing something. Because even just right there, you just saw a classic example of that. The Oriole, the Border Collie, in, in something that he shouldn't be in. And I'm just looking dead at him like, dude, you're doing it like literally right in front of me. And I'm just freeze. Assess this situation before I do or say anything. And look at him to figure out, what do I need to do next here? What do I need to do? And this is just natural to me. This is just all the, my, my, normal to me. And, and I've always been doing that. And then lately, this past year, I've been doing that like hardcore. And then I'm figuring out what to do next to be able to get the dog into a good place. I don't react because the dog is reactive. You are also more likely a reactive human being. I don't react. I just respond to what I see going on. I'm not like, oh, he's bro. I'm just like, oh, what's going on? Because there's many of videos of I've had the Dalmatian with me. I've had even a couple of videos. I had some random dogs with me. Uh, I won't say random dogs, but some other people's dogs with me that a dog just blah, blah, takes off. And I'm just standing there like I have zero response when a dog just does that. And when I have literally a zero response, the dog just stops. They stop because they're like, wow, this, this guy is not he's not putting anything into this. He just he's just a statue that I have zero response. I don't get scared. I don't get nervous. I'm just like, oh, whatever. Like my Dalmatian's done that. She pulled out and she didn't she don't bark. I don't, I don't know what it is with her. She just doesn't bark. She barks if I play with the flirt pole. She'll bark to like, let's get this going because she gets too excited. But she don't bark. And, and, and uh, But she lunged out. It was like trying to sniff and get on another dog. And I'm just standing there like, and she don't do it no more. She did it twice. And she's done. Finished. Because she realized, oh, we're, we're, we're not in that together. Oh, okay, we're done. We're finished. Because I have like nothing to them. And that's what I'm going to say is we're, to me, my God's given gift to me of being able to do certain things on his lands be able to do some stuff. You know, for me, education school <laughs> is clearly not the way. I would always go to the trade schools and the trade things. But things would get too complicated. I'm going to be quick to say I quit. The test that I had to do in the dog training school, you know, my my practical, like hands-on, I, I did really good. I, I did fail one test, uh, the clicker trick, trick test. Because, man, I don't know what it is, man. I was struggling at that time. But I wasn't motivated because I didn't like the treats and the clicker. And I was just like, this is straight up this is stupid what are we doing this for and 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 it just didn't it didn't make sense to me so i just put it on the backlash but all of my written tests man to pass you had to have a 60 oh, <laughs> straight up the first test i got a 61 i was like whoa praise jesus right there like i passed it because the first one was the hardest one to, uh, uh uh and if you don't pass it twice or whatever you, you get kicked from the course and i was nervous as all could be this is a this is a tricky test for me i was struggling i was like oh my goodness like all the tests were like that. 60s. I think I got one. They got like an 80-something in it. I think it was a, a test of like leashes and collars. I was like, oh, that's that's easy. Like, hey, you hooked me up with an easy test. Oh, it's just well, dang near almost failing every single one. It's just not me. But everyone else in the class, man, A's on all the written. But the practicals, people were barely making it. And that was easy for me. That was the easiest part. Do the obedience stuff and do the stays and do the downs. And I was just like, boy, that's a, this is a breeze. Like, this is this is so simple. Like, I had I had no extra work behind me to get that. And, and that's just who I am or someone else is really good at the, 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 the research side of it. They understand all the, the readings. They understand all that. And for me, it's just like, I need a, I need something practical. I need to see a practical thing. I need to see it. I need to see it. Especially with coming down to talking about trust technique with working with dogs. I could talk about it all day. I needed to see somebody do it. I found a video of a lady that literally it's a whole, I, it was over an hour and I watched multiples of this woman's videos of her sitting next to a crate and, or sitting on the couch with a dog on a leash, just sitting there. We are in dead silence, just sitting there. I watched the whole, granted I watched my stuff at 2x speed, but I watched the hours of somebody sitting in silence with the dog and watching the dog just relax, 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 relax. And I'm like, okay, this makes sense. I, I couldn't read about it. I needed to see it. I needed to see it. I spent hours with this woman. And <laughs> She doesn't make any videos anymore. She got a bunch of bunch of videos from years and years and years ago, just showing the trust te trust technique of just hanging out and being. And I saw incredible things happen to these dogs. Her sitting with the dog going through a thunderstorm, just sat with the dog. The dog's in the crate, thunderstorm going on, dogs freaking out, and she's just sitting there with the dog, sitting there, right next to the crate, just sitting there. 
no expressions, no oh, good jobs, good boy, good girl, nothing, just sitting there. And I sat there with her for an hour because I think that video was, was almost two hours long. I just sat there and I watched this lady just sit with a dog. And I watched this dog go to calm, to calm, to calm, to calm. And then showing follow-up videos of seeing how fast this dog would start to get to calm when he would hear something. It was, it was like, it was the most incredible thing for me to be able to watch. But, but reading about it, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm stupid with that. I'm straight up. I don't get it. But there's something in me that I'm able to see, able to replicate, and able to do. And there's something with all of us like that in us. And it, and it challenges people when, when they're just like, I've been doing it like this, and I've been this, and, and, and how is this, and good for yous, and, and all that, and, and just have so much jealousy and envy behind it, but not understanding that we are all unique individuals on the, on, in these lanes. We all have our own gifts that we have to be able to use. And it's not only just one gift that everyone has. We all have multiple ways of doing some things. And for me, you know, I, I was a quiet kid. I didn't start speaking until I got to kindergarten. And, and, and I'll never forget what I was first speaking about when I got to kindergarten. But I didn't speak as a two, three, four-year-old. I didn't talk. I didn't say no words out of this mouth. I, no, no, no. Of course, my dad frustrated with me about that. But I didn't speak. I didn't talk. It was crazy as how much do I talk today? Because I was listening. I'm always listening to what people are saying to be able to say something that they're going to be able to understand. Say something that they'll be able to hear to be able to like, okay, that, that makes sense. I'm always listening. I'm not the one that talks when I'm around people. I'm listening to it. Everyone's got to say. I'm listening. I don't, I don't got no input on what anyone's talking about. I, I got to listen to it. I got to analyze it. Hear what you're saying. And then I can spit it out in a couple of senses of what's going on with you. And you're like, okay, let's move on now. Let's go somewhere. That's something that I've been able to easily do. How I can easily just make videos like eight times, maybe not eight times a day, get a little tiring. Talking gets tiring. It's hard to do in reality. But uh. I can just keep going and going and going with, with no hiccup, no hesitation. It's, e it's easy. It's easy. It's the easiest thing possible for me to be able to look at something, talk about it, and get it out there for someone to be able to understand what it is that I'm seeing. It's easy for me to do that. But for someone else, you know, it's, it's maybe the, 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 uh, the hardest possible thing to just simply hit record on something and get it out there. I suggest, please, just hit record and get your stuff out there. This is incredible to be able to help people out in a way, to be able to just get them what it is that they actually need. Because your audience is going to find you. Again, it's just what I believe in and how I live these lands. And, and I'm seeing everything turn the way that it should be. Everything turn the way that it should be. Because it, it all starts with something small. And people are going to find you because people need you. You. And that's the thing and the concept of the whole going back to the whole military thing. Certain people are leaders. And the most unfortunate thing is the most of the leaders, they don't think that they are. Because something has suppressed you and shut you down to make you think that that's not who you are. But you are a leader. You are someone to be able to guide people, guide things, do stuff. You are someone to be able to really give out good information to be able to help someone out. And, and, and it's for us to push past that barrier of thinking you're dumb, you're stupid, you got nothing, and actually get out there and do something and make something happen. But the biggest thing is just understand that I don't care how good I get with making videos and doing what I'm doing. I will never be what I see other people that are doing. I don't care how good I get with working with these animals. I will never be what I see someone else doing. And I'm not going to Get in my feelings about that. Oh my goodness, why are they? Why is this? Why come this? How come that? No, I'm just going to keep on living and being and doing what I'm doing with what I see in front of me and just enjoy and appreciate what I have in front of me and just really, really just, 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 just. Oh man, that's all. They got all the fire trucks going. That means something sticky's going on. I hope they all right. But uh, I'm just, I just, just doing what I'm doing with what I have. And, and, and I realize life is absolutely incredible when you look at it that way. Thank you. You know, there's something that I don't know what it is. Sometimes when I read comments from people, it just puts me in a, a stance of, I want to make way more videos because there's so many people out here that are struggling. And not struggling just only with the dog. Hey, Shadow, we good. Shadow. Shadow. Come here, man. We good. Don't, I don't want to worry about the neighbor. We good. Thank you. If that dog comes over here, I'll, you better get that dang dog out of here. He'll be on a rampage killing all my chickens. <laughs> that dog, that dog's serious. He's serious about business. He's not uh, trained to be around animals. And he's trained to actually go and find and search and hunting animals but uh more comments that i see it just it just lets me know that this, me struggling with these dogs is like the intro to figuring out what's going on with you 
That's how I look at these dogs in reality. The intro of what's wrong with me, they're, sh they're putting it out there, broadcasting it for me to be able to see. And it's for me to be able to see it, accept it, understand it, and now work upon myself to get through it. Because I was far from being calm. I was far from being patient. I was far from having any care about anybody in reality for a long time. Because I was just broke, beat down, destroyed, just I had a lot of chaos going on in my life. A lot. That people still try to bring in, but you know, I get to choose what chaos I want to bring in at this moment today. If I don't want it, you stay over there. I get to choose what I want to bring in. And and it, it is our choice or what you want to deal with on a day to day. It's your choice. You get you get that choice. If you don't like what's being said on the news, shut it off. You don't like what your spouse is saying. Shut it off. <laughs> Seriously, why are you allowing what someone is saying to, to really get into your feelings to make you like have to react or respond? That's what dogs, I believe, are great at being able to help us out with. You don't need to react when they do something. You, you, need, you don't need to do anything. And you notice that the more that you don't do anything, the more that things start to get better and look better. The more that things just start to get more, way more and more peaceful. Because you're not, you're not trying to fight. You're not trying to bicker. You're not trying to battle. You're not trying to punish. You're not trying to pressure. You're not trying to force. You're not trying to call horse. I think it's how you say that. You're not trying to do anything. But just find your peace. Because the peace isn't out there. It's not once my dog is good, I'm going to be good. No. The dog is going to be good when you're good. Because when you're good, you're going to make everything else around you pretty much be pretty good. And if it's not, like I said, you're just going to kick it out and kick it away. It's not going to be able to function around you when you're doing good. But when you're not good and things aren't, hey, uh, Shadow, they coming back to you. Shadow. He, uh, <laughs> he, I can't blame him. He like, uh, he like, he like, he, he like barking out the threat. And that's what he's supposed to do. But I like to let him know that during the day, pretty much there's no threat. You could chill all day. But at night, you better be barking, buddy. You better be getting stuff out of here. <laughs> but, uh, the biggest thing is when your life is chaos, you're going to bring more chaos into your life. It has to happen that way. You're going to attract what you are. And that's one thing that I had to have a huge, huge understanding in my life. Why do I keep bringing in these toxic people? Buddy, because you are. Or me, I am. I am. Because I was like just weird and crazy and up and down and wild and aggravated and irritated and just just messed up. And then once I started to get better with that, I started to notice like, wow, I get really cool people around me now. Really cool people. <laughs> Dang, Oreo, what's up with this dust? You out here doing dust baths. <laughs> uh, uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. And I've been working with a whole lot of really cool people lately. Really neat people. People that just really want to learn something or really want to know something, really want to understand something new. And it's for me to be able to bring them that. Doing what it is that is easy and what I want to say natural for me to be able to do. It's, what I do is easy. I don't, I don't put no effort. N none. Like, n none. I don't know how to explain it more than that. With not trying to like, I'm not trying to brag about anything, but I don't put nothing into making these dogs look the way they are anymore. Because I've officially gotten back to doing what is what I want to say is just normal and natural. What's unnatural is trying to convince the dog to do something out of what it is that it's supposed to do. Allow it to do what it, it is to do. And a lot of what we do today is not what the dogs are intended to do. Not what the dogs are bred to do. We try to think. We try to put it on. A lot of people out here, y'all getting these, these Belgian Malinois, these Dutch Shepherds, and, and all these dogs thinking, oh, it does bite work. That's not what the dog is bred to do. That's what we tried to breed it today to do. but. A hundred years ago, that's not what we bred the dog to do. That's not what the dogs were intended to do. And we're trying to say, like, that's what the dog is. No, that's why you're not getting help with your dog. That's not what the dog was intended to do. And until you start to do what the dog was intended to do, you're only going to find the results that way. But what dogs are intended to do, most people are scared of. Chasing, hunting, doing things like that. And we could do it all in a fake way today. And it, it doesn't need to be anything elaborate. It doesn't need to be anything real. I used to... Think, oh, my dogs, they have to chase the chicken. No, they don't. They don't need a live animal. And they prefer the fake stuff with us because of how we're breeding them today to get them actually away from being a true what they are. Uh, or all done. 
I don't know why you all dusty, man. <laughs> you, you, you musty dusty. Be all right. But uh, when the dogs do what they're intended to do, and, and I think a lot of people are confused today because of what I want. The only thing I can say is propaganda. Propaganda of this is what the dog is. This is what the dog should be like. This is how the dog is. I'm going to get the Border Collie because it's a good agility dog. That's not what the dog was intended to do. The more agility you do with that dog, the more you're just running back, just button heads with the dog because it's not what the dog was intended to do. Simply grab yourself a flirt pole and let the dog and just run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. It's always, oh, oh, my dog just goes forever. I will promise you that your dog doesn't. And, and, and anyway, you know, everyone's got their little dog challenges out there. I get the dog challenge out there. If I can't get your dog tired, I can't get your dog to exercise the needs, and I don't know what the dollar amount to put there. But I promise you, I'll get your dog to the point that it's stumbling and fumbling. It's going to look at me like, buddy, I, don't, I can't do it no more. I, I can simply do that. I can simply take mass majority of 99.9% .9 of dogs, uh, Oreo, all done. 99.9% .9 of dogs, put them on a harness, put, put them on my harness, and go take it for a run. I'll take that dog for a 16-mile run. Uh, Oreo, come here. Oreo, come here. Ophi, all done. Oreo, you're good. You're good. Thank you. Get off, get off me. I can simply hook the dog up to my harness and take it for a 16 mile of my run. Not these little trotting, jogging, but I'll be running, running. And I promise you, your dog is going to come back with a limping leg because he's like, dude, I can't keep up with this. And then, you know what? I'll do it again the next day, the next day, the next day. And that's the thing that just people don't do that is just natural, normal, and easy to me. I set the lure course up, and I will run your dog. You know how easy it is for me to run your dog? I will run your dog. I think the battery on that thing lasts like 35, 45 minutes. I will run your dog for 45 minutes, and your dog will, will have a heart attack. It's not going to be able to keep up. I have stuff to be able to use to be able to get these dogs tired. But the thing is, you got to do it over and over and, and to me, doing it every day, over and over. And then sometimes some dogs are wild, like my Dalmatian up front. I had to work her two, three, four times a day, over and over and over and over and over again. And bam, something happened. I'm good. She's like, oh, I'm good. I got that up. I got that figured out. We're all set up. But the thing is, that's easy to me because it's just what I do. But to you, you only have, I only have time, for instance, to do it once a week then, you know, that's just what it is. And then you wonder why I can't get what I get. But for me, it's just, it's easy. I could take, I, I, I don't care what dog it is today. Like I'm, I'm going to have to find me in something else, something different to, 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 to get to just, but no matter what I do in reality of what I show, someone's going to say, oh, it's because you this and oh, because you that. No, it's because I just want to put the work in that is just easy to me and give to the dog. Because for one, I'm still looking for a hardcore running dog. I need a dog that can run a, at least a marathon a couple times a week. I'm trying to get into some serious running here. A Dalmatian can't do it. She's good for about eight miles, maybe 12 at max. But still, even at that 12 miles, she's about good six miles of the pace that I want to keep up with. The dogs can't do that. And that's what the dogs were, say, uh, uh, initially said, bred to be able to do. But they can't do it. It's just a matter of finding what it is for that dog to be able to do. But the thing is, we all have excuses. We got excuses. We all got this, oh, my dog this. Oh, my, we don't have, like actions that we put in we got excuses and the dog needs a quality leader that's not going to quit not going to give up and not going to have excuses that's what's going to make someone for one every time i see someone with a really nice dog i know you're a good leader and the thing is i hope that that some of y'all uh, or you're all done i hope that when some of y'all are are uh, 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 able to be able to to get your courage up to be able to get out for one just get on these cameras man because the people need it we, most people I know are getting sick and tired of, uh, 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 man, you're getting good, Ophi. Good girl. Uh, people are getting sick and tired of, uh, watching the same old YouTube people all day. These big, huge channels. People, we, we want more. We want more. We need something different to be able to watch. I love watching just people that just got 10 subscribers and they got some extremely good information to be able to explain. They got good stuff to talk about. We need more. And some of y'all are just really good leaders and should be putting information out there to be able to help other people out. And other people, they want to be leaders. And that's why they have to have everything staged to look away. But for me, it is what it is. The dogs moving chickens, shoot. They bucking and clucking, making noises and getting all excited and all weary and all strange. You know, just they going to go after it here and there. I don't care. They get out of it just as fast as they get into it. I don't care. I don't have nothing to stage to set up because I'm just living. And there's so many people, so many all out here that live the same life that I live. But you're not you're not putting you're not you're not standing up to being what it is that you should be doing. Is that leader? Being that leader. Some of us are just good at what we do and we got information to explain. 
the biggest thing I want everyone to just really understand, someone's better than you. Someone's faster than you, smarter than you, way more intelligent than you, has a way, what, what do you call it, more IQ than you, has way more experience than you, has way, even less experience and way more experience of just life lessons and life, life learned. You know, I'm not just some, everything was great and I grew up in this grade eight. Granted, yeah, my parents are married. They've been married and they're still married. So I did grow up in a two-parent household that's weird today. That's not normal. And, and I did go to a private school. They put me in a school because I was failing out. I almost failed out of private school, but I, almost fa I was failing out of public school. So they did the extra to make sure that I could at least get that. So, yeah, I, 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 I'm not from just, just everything's perfect. I've been shot. I got shot in my, a half mile from my parents' house. I've been cut. I've been stabbed. I've been beaten to the point that I don't know how I'm still alive. I've been thrown off of stuff, knocked off of stuff. I've fallen off balconies and people pushing me off stuff. I've been in some crazy stuff. I've been kicked, pushed out of a moving vehicle. I've been in some crazy stuff in my life. Life experience can really show someone something that y'all can't see. You don't see that from me. You don't know any of that. And all of us have that same stuff. But the biggest thing is don't be deterred because you see someone else doing something better. Do what you got to do. All right, let's go inside.